on a lighter note, um, <laughs> we heard that the FIFA Women's World Cup is going to be hosted in New Zealand. And I wanted to know what were your guys' reaction about that? Uh, let's hear from Haley. That it's exciting. It's so exciting that so calm. Um, it's <laughs> no, like it's not that far away. Mm -hmm. Um, location wise and time wise, because everything is kind of pushed back because um of this pandemic. But no, it's so exciting and the fact that it's also moved up from to thirty two teams from twenty four, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moved up that allows more yes. Asian teams. Asian qualifiers, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and we were right there last time. So Yeah. But that also means we have we have competition for those extra spots. Like more teams, more more spots, more teams, more competition. And all the other countries are gonna think like that's their spot when we can think the same thing. Mm -hmm. So um it's really exciting to hear that um the next World Cup is already can be in preparation for. Like hearing that announcement means like, okay, when do we start? Exactly. And that, that's well, when do I start? And um, when, when I when I can run again. But um, no, yeah, hearing yeah hearing the location of it um, is really cool. Yeah, yeah, that that was actually what I was going to talk about. So um mentioned um from 24 teams in the fifa women's world cup it's been leveled up to 32 so there are technically seven teams since they're two hosts australia and new zealand a and z region mm -hmm. and australia removed contention in the asian qualifier so this is just like a background of what's going to happen which means there could be at least one more slot opening for asia and um that's understandable that's why Haley's so excited and um, it's true. Um, a lot of Asia, a lot, a lot of Asian teams do believe this slot is mine. So, what do you think, as a Philippine women's national team? What do you think separates you from all the other Asian teams? Because everybody's everybody's thinking that it's theirs. <laughs> Anyone? Okay. He's an well, underdog, fam. <laughs> The underdog, I was just about to say that. We are forever, no matter what tournament we go into, we are always, always the underdog. And I mean, that's a good thing and a bad thing. A bad thing, like, we get overlooked and people don't want to, um, they don't think they need to scout for us or this person, that person. But I think they do now, which um, I think I think we heard that from... Thailand in um, AFF in 2019. When we were out with them. <laughs> what? That, no, that it was a coach. Oh, oh it was a coach. No, it was, it was, it was a coach who, who it, said this. Yeah. After our game with them, the, parang, the coach actually commended the team and said that we were a threat, which I think what, what says a lot. Uh, <laughs> was it not the, the, the player saying that? Uh, I think they might have said it too. We were in yeah. the we'll link store. the article below. <laughs> okay, okay, they gotcha, I gotcha. It's an article. <laughs> Smart Sports tiebreaker podcast. She just knocked down a three. She just scored the game winning goal. So she did.